More than 200 people attending the Appalachian Region Reforestation Initiative Conference boarded buses for a trip atop Bent Mountain, an active surface strip mine in Pike County. They were there to see how University of Kentucky researchers have used loosely dumped rocks and native tree seedlings to conduct reforestation studies. We want to put trees back on lands that used to be forested. The mining approach that's currently used predominantly in Kentucky is to take these lands that were forest, surface mine them, and restore them as grasslands. And when we do that, we lose all of the benefits of the forest. We lose the wildlife habitat, we lose uh, recreational potential, and we lose economic potential from the loss of the forest and the forest industry. The Appalachian Region Reforestation Initiative brings together scientists, federal government regulators, coal companies, and environmental groups from seven states. After seeing the Bent Mountain Reforestation Project and a couple of more research efforts by the University of Kentucky, feedback from conference participants was positive. The research at the University of Kentucky uh, uh, paints a very promising future for um, uh, reclaiming forests back on surface mines. The research is on the cutting edge. This is avant-garde uh, research uh, you know, compared to anything in, in the world in regards to soil science, forestry, reforestation techniques, and uh, you know, surface mine reclamation. Loosely compacted leftover rocks and debris, known as spoil, are used to stabilize the site once strip mining is complete. Trees are then planted in the loosely graded material and have shown comparable growth to that of trees on natural forests. Tree species native to Appalachia have been planted like redbud, dogwood, and yellow poplar. We're doing some other type of plantations or experimental work. With Chris Barton says another featured project at Bent Mountain is testing the feasibility of growing materials for woody biomass as an alternative to coal. So we have these hundreds of thousands of acres of land. Um, potentially we can continue to use them for energy purposes.